Hmm. There you are. Oh, I was going to ask you where my coffee is, but it looks like you're busy yourself at the moment. Let me guess. From the amount of clothes just laying on the ground, you seemingly are having a meltdown. And the fact that you're just looking at me with this dead stare. Am I right with the assumption that you can't decide what to wear? <laughs> that even rhymed. I knew it. So do tell me, what's the occasion? An appointment? Mere boredom? Or maybe a date? <laughs> relax, relax. I'm not here to make fun of you. Even though that surely would be quite amusing. Now... Do I keep watching you struggle, or... You do look like you've given up already, not gonna lie. How can this be so difficult for you, huh? You just shove in your hand, grab something out of your closet, put it on, and go with it. It should be... It should be easy enough to find something matching quickly. Although, when I look at your floor, I'd be surprised if there still is anything in your closet at this point. So, you still haven't answered my first question. What's the occasion? Mm. What do you mean, why are you asking? I'm going to help you, of course. No need to look so shocked. I do have general sense of fashion. And I'd like to think that my personal dressing style isn't too bad either. Now tell me, who or what are you dressing up for? Going out with friends? It's not even a date? How boring. Why are you struggling so much with this then? Hmm? I doubt your petty friends would judge you if you came in a dotted shirt with some striped pants in rainbow colors or whatever. <laughs> There's that stare again. Of course I am just joking. Relax. Now, when are you going out? Afternoon, evening, night. It does make a difference. Hmm, okay, I see. Well, it tends to be cool in the evenings during fall. But let's see first of all what we have here. Uh, all right. Some sweaters. Trench coats, layered stuff, jackets, t-shirts? I don't think you need that at this point anymore. <sighs> Just some long sleeve shirts, prints, no prints, patterns on there. You've got quite a lot of stuff to pick from. Ah, uh, well. Ah. Mm. Uh. I'm not sure right now. We should probably pick something that matches in colors. Not really a fan of putting something printed on together with something completely bland. So, uh, let's see if you got just some basic stuff. Hmm. The question is, do you want to go for something that has more of a fall theme? Or do you want to be more risque? Or do you want to make people stare at you and be like, Wow, that person's really ugly. <laughs> I mean, beautiful, of course. What do you want to go for? What, what vibe do you want to carry over? I need to know that stuff to be able to pick something that actually matches that. All right. 
So you're going for the cliché, I see. Fall colors. Anything that screams autumn at you. I got you. Okay. Well, then we'd probably have to go more for uh, brown, beige, orange, yellowy colors. Mm, did I mention brown? Yeah, I did. <laughs> I wouldn't really include black in there. It is an option for some finer details, like if you want to use your usual black shoes, they practically fit for everything. Now, how about we are just going to sort all the stuff that you have laying on the ground right now after colors that are fit. So we're going to make one heap of clothing with all these autumn halloween -y colors, and the other stuff goes on the other heap. Come on, let's get to work. I can help you a little bit, but don't think that I am going to clean up your whole room for you, considering you were the person who made this mess in the first place. All right, that seems good enough. Now, just shove that other heap somewhere else where it doesn't bother us, because we will need the space. Now, gotta sort through this one once more to split apart all the tops and bottoms. I'm not talking about your underwear here. I do not want to know about that, and I do not care. So, tops on one side, bottoms on the other. At least this heap is sufficiently smaller than the other one. All right, let's see. Here. Mm. What, what the hell is this? <laughs> You're not going to wear that one. It's going straight to the other pile. Hmm, all right. Hmm. Okay, looks good enough. Now, let me see what you got here. I'm looking through the tops first and we can do the, the pants and stuff later. Since it's gonna get cold, you might want to be layered. So if you get like an undershirt, I would probably recommend you to wear that. It is going to get quite cold today, especially. And it might even rain, but that might change still. Okay. Uh, this is not an option. All these short-sleeved ones can just go right over there. Or, technically, if you take this long-sleeved one, the the dark brown one, you can put this this uh brighter. You know, this one, the the yellow orangey one, the short top on top to have another layer, but uh, maybe that does not work for you. I don't think that would be very flattering. Mm, how about this? This sweater is kind of nice. It's a dull orange with some uh, orangey, yellow, brownish leaves on there that don't look too in your face. And at least they're stitched on and not printed, so... Yeah. Let's let's just put this on the yes side. Maybe maybe one more. Mm. This this one also looks good. Might be a bit tight. But I mean, why not? So, let's just focus on these two pieces. Mm, all right. Pants, pants, pants. Do you have anything without holes in there? I know it's fashion, I know it's pretty, but it's not very flattering when it's freezing ass outside. Mm. 
Do you want to go for a more cutesy vibe, or do you not care about that? Okay. Good, uh, then... Well, you don't have much of a... of a choice here. Maybe if you want to bring a bit more color in here, those checkered ones are not too bad. At least they're not black and white. Um, they could... They could fit well to the tighter top, cause like... They're a bit more loose-fitted. Mm. On the other side... These ones might fit the sweater. They're pretty dull in color, so they won't take away the attention from the top. Mm. How about you just try both of these on, and uh, then we can continue from that. Why, yes, of course, right in front of me. I have seen you in your underwear dozens of times enough. I literally do not care. Okay. I will turn around, if you're more comfortable with that. As soon as you're finished, you're just going to tell me. Okay, get the first one on. Let's go. Can I? Okay. Hmm. It's not bad. It, it's not bad, but I'm not completely convinced. Uh, try, try the other one, and I'm, and then, and then we'll see. Okay, I'm turning around again. Okay. Hmm. I do like this one better. The, the, the sweater one. Um, okay. I don't think we really have to put much accessories on there. That would be too overwhelming. And uh, considering you most likely will be wearing a jacket most of the time, they won't really be visible. So, we've already uh, talked about the topic of your shoes. You're just going to pick your classic black ones. They're going to fit. And otherwise, do you plan on doing anything with your hair? Just leave it open. Okay, do you have any sort of hats, beret, beanies, any, any of that sort? <laughs> yeah, sure. That doesn't sound bad. Why, why don't you just put it on and then we'll see. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I think I think this I think this works. Yeah, sure. Um, jackets. Do you need my help with that or? <laughs> Thank goodness. At least you're capable of picking some things for yourself. Now, when do you have to leave, hmm? Huh. That's good. That leaves you enough time to clean up this mess in here that you have done. And while you do that, I'm going to leave you alone for now. I'm also a busy man and I have stuff to do as well. But I do hope the next time that I'm coming into your room, I can see the floor again. If you want a tea later, just come to the kitchen. I'm going to put on some hot water. Have fun cleaning.